What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Oh, this is me, Tom Buck. Ooh, Pico. Ooh. Okay, so this is what we got going on today. Um, this. I got me some CMOS um, sitting here, oh, whatever, letting this go through its thing because you have to let it sit in some water for about 24 hours. You could do it less, they say, but I want to do it for the as much time to get all the nutrients out. So it's been... Um, washed extremely well they say you only need to wash it a few times but i washed mine i don't know probably eight or nine times because i just can't deal with any extra crap in there so um yeah so washed it and last night i put it in water and i had to actually add some more water this morning because they say to cover all of the little stem things possible so this should be ready later on tonight for me to do the next step, which would be to put it in the blender and do my thing. So I did buy some from a store, which I put that on a post um, just to kind of get it started in my system. But I said any subsequent, um, any more that I would use, I'm just gonna buy it and um, make it. So make sure you get the wild crafted kind and not the other kind because that's not um very beneficial at least that's what they say so over here i got turn this i'm using this little <laughs> little thing right here or whatever that you get when you order you know the asian food or something whatever because it's just so anyway um i got my elderberries I have bought elderberry syrup before, um, nothing wrong with that, but I figured I'd make my own, then um, that way I can get more bang for my buck, because elderberry syrup is not necessarily inexpensive. So um, the berries in itself aren't inexpensive either, but again, if you get them, it's just easy you just make your own and you'll get way more syrup from um for the cost than what you would have paid just getting it in bottle form from a store so anyway so i got everything in here and this is going to come to a boil oh so i'm sorry i didn't tell you what's saying so the elderberry um the whole elderberries water cloves um and ginger and I didn't, I, they, you can use fresh ginger. I didn't have any, um, so I just use, I got the organic ginger or whatever, powder ginger, so I just use that. Um, so I got that in there, and did I mention a uh, cinnamon stick? I got a one and a half cinnamon stick in there. I don't know if I mentioned that, probably didn't, but I got that in there too. And so I'm gonna let this come to a boil and then I'm gonna lower the heat and simmer it for about 40, 45 minutes. And then I'll do the next step on that. And I'll actually show you the video on both of them for the next step. Okay, so I am back and I've been letting this sit for a minute because I had other stuff to do. But um, as a matter of fact, I let the elderberries simmer for about um i did it 45 minutes but you can do it anywhere really between 30 and 45 minutes and um you let it cool so this is more than cool because it's been sitting here for 
um, a little bit because again, I was busy. So I'm going to strain out the elderberries and let's see. I only, yeah, I don't have any really big bowls, so I'm going to be using this bowl because this kind of just fits in there perfectly where well, I don't have to hold this over something. I just sit that there and I'm going to just, because this, this may be quite a bit, so I'm going to just pour some and then I'll just pour it in another container and then do the rest so here we go Oops. I want to make sure I get it let's see what this looks like okay so give me a minute so I'm gonna pour this into here, I can get some more wine. Let's do the rest of it. Oh, should I guess I should have swapped it that way, huh? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Why I smell like that is because of the um, the cinnamon stick, but so then you can just squeeze it out to get whatever juice you can, because you don't want nothing going to waste. Okay, so I just rinsed out this, and so I got about this much these two so uh, just because again I don't have a huge bowl I'm just gonna put this back up in here like that I need something big enough to mix this in and then I need about um, I'll put the ingredients in the description box but three Cups of raw honey, and I got this kind. Whatever, but anyway, whatever you want. And I'm gonna slowly pour it in there, and this is gonna help with the flavor. Again, you know, there's different kinds of honey, but so make sure you use a raw. Let's say about three cups. That seems like a lot though. This is 24 ounces, so 24 ounces equal three cups. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna taste this. Let's see what it tastes like. All right, this one. Because that's only half. So I'm gonna make sure that this is mixed in really well and then I'm going to taste it and then determine on if I wanna pour the rest in there because I don't want it too sweet, but it said three cups, which is this whole thing, but I think that's a lot. Anyway, let's see. So, here I'm going to go to the sink and taste it. Well, I think that's sweet enough. I don't, hmm. Yeah, I think that's sweet enough. I don't think it needs anything else. Let me get another spoon, just to make sure. And I 
think that's more than enough. I'm putting them all there. Moving honey up and up. So anyway, that is that. So I'm gonna pour this back in my little containers and then put them in some small mason jars and then that's it. That'll be your elderberry syrup and you um, can put it in the refrigerator and mask for a couple of months. Um, however much you take, I guess is up to you, but I guess a general rule of thumb, a tablespoon a day, um, you know, that could be for adults and, no, I'm sorry, for adults, a tablespoon a day for adults and then maybe a teaspoon for kids. Um, and then that's it, that's all. So, yeah. So I hope, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you can um, do some things with the COVID going on and what have you. And um, yeah, so that is gonna be that for this part. So then I'm going to show you the um, sea moss. Okay, so we go about to wrap this up. We're doing the sea moss now. So everything's washed off or whatever. Why don't have this? It's water here. Anyway, so, oh God, this feels so freaking weird. Oh my God. So I know you guys are already seeing a lot of this on TV because I'm late in the game. I should have been on this crap. Whew, getting old, so I'm trying to do everything I can to that whatever just the natural process of aging potential issues that come up with aging and then obviously you know you guys gotta deal with whatever is hereditary in your family that comes up so anyway so i'm oh my god this looks very pretty so clean and nice looking anyway so i am transferring this over to this little plastic bowl i ain't gonna get no special you know like i be seeing people on uh, here getting these special dishes and stuff i ain't there you know and nobody else is paying my bills and paying for me to get special dishes now sometimes i may be in a mood you know for presentation wise but i can do plastic that's fine and you don't like it oh well <laughs> um but yeah anywho i don't know why i went off on that tangent but um i digress so yeah i'm just getting this out and and just getting this out and this is the part that we are going this is the part that we're going to blend and we're going to use the water that it's been soaked in because it has so many nutrients in the water we're going to use the water as the base to put in the blender so let me set that so up. you can see so anyway i'm going to uh, put this in here so again this is my first time doing this y'all making my oh hmm you see my face i'm smelling it. it smells so see <laughs> this is funny anyway i'm putting okay so it's supposed to be at least what i read one part maybe i'm putting too much in now one part um one part no i think i could do four one part um, sea moss to one part sea moss to about two parts water. So I'm just kind of picking off some pieces. So this is about looking at the measuring thing. That's about four. That's about four um, cups. Then, as you can see, I got the. Hmm, how do I work with this? So this is two cups. So I'm gonna pour. All right. 
So, um, make sure I'm doing this right. So yeah, so I got four. So it's one part sea moss to two cups. So maybe I should just that may be too much. Yes, yeah, so maybe let me start off with one, okay? And then we'll go from now. Let's just do that, because I don't want to mess this up. This stuff costs money, you know? Ain't nobody got time to be making no mistakes. So this is one cup. And then, let me see, let me see what it look like. I'll just add as, oh, so that's one cup, about. And then this is two. So then, I'm gonna just put it in here. So then it's two. I'm just dropping stuff, so I'll rinse that off. Two. Okay, so two. Let's blend this and see what this looking like and go from there. Where is my top? And we're gonna see what that, I think I need probably one more cup of water, but I'm gonna just blend it. And I'm good. it's gonna be liquidy. Um, that's what it's supposed to be. And until you put it in a refrigerator and then it thickens up, so. I think that's so yeah I'm gonna blend this play around with it I may put some more seed moss to the water I'm gonna see how it looks and then I'll touch base so I am back I didn't actually change anything because you know they say one one part of the seed moss to one to two cups water of the water so this is my first time doing this so i think i'm going to leave it like this uh yeah i think i'm gonna leave it like this but you know you can't go wrong it really depends on how thick you want the gel that's all that i guess depends on how much water you want to use so and it is going to thicken up. So I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm going to pour these in these jars. Oh. Don't want these jars. Don't want the other jars. This may be cool. So I'm going to pour these in here. And I got some more to make. So, but anywho, this is pretty much it. You can add a couple of tablespoons and put in, you know, most people using them, putting it um, in their smoothies or whatever, that old mask, you know, the taste, which isn't bad or anything like that, but that's how people usually take it. So that's it. That's all I got. And um, that's it. That's all. So holla at your girl later.